So a family member or dear friend gifted you with a beautiful plant during the holiday season. It may be a poinsettia or an orchid or any of the other flowering plants available at that time of the year. However, it more than likely did not come with any care instructions. Keeping them happy and healthy during the remainder of the holiday season is easy, but getting them to live all year round and possibly bloom yet again is the trick. With our growing tips and gardening know-how, you will be on your way to enjoying these pretty plants for years to come. Before we discuss all of the details, let's first talk about that festive foil covering the pot. While caring for the plant over the holiday season, the foil can remain. Just be sure to lift the plant from the wrapper, water the plant, and allow it to drain before replacing the foil sleeve. For the long haul though, you'll want to remove the foil and repot it into a permanent container with drainage holes. Getting back to the care instructions, most plants require the correct amount of water and light to thrive and the same is true for holiday plants. Let's begin with light. Most of these plants will prefer bright, indirect light. A wide open north facing window will do. If the only space you have is an eastern, western, or southern facing window and the light is a bit harsh, just pull the plant away from the window several feet or use light diffusing curtains. Depending on the time of the year, move the plants away or toward the window to manipulate the amount of light it receives. Be sure to rotate the plant often as the plant will tend to grow towards the light. This falls true with all of your house plants. As for watering, many plants will indicate their level of dryness. They may begin to wilt slightly and the top inch of soil will become very dry. The foliage of indoor evergreen plants such as lemon cypress or small potted juniper and spruce will feel brittle and dry when the plant is in need of water or additional humidity. Tap water will do, but it is recommended to fill the watering can the night before and allow it to sit overnight to reach room temperature while also allowing any chemicals to evaporate. Poinsettias, Christmas cactus, and Norfolk Island pine prefer to be on the drier side, while cyclamen, lemon cypress, and anthurium prefer more water. Orchids are a bit trickier. You want to avoid overwatering as constant wetness will cause the roots to rot and you never want an orchid to completely dry out either. Water your orchid in the morning just as the top of the soil begins to dry out. Shriveled foliage is a good indication that you are allowing the orchid to get too dry between waterings. As for bulb type plants such as cyclamen, amaryllis, and paper whites, you will want to water these plants from the bottom as the roots will absorb the water, keeping the top of the bulb dry. Also, the longer you can keep these types of plants on the cooler side, the longer they will bloom and remain in color. Humidity is another factor not to overlook. These plants are usually received during the colder months of the year and the hot and dry air from a furnace can quickly decrease humidity. To increase the humidity in your space, you can cluster the plants together, which may create more humidity on their own, or better yet, set the plants on a tray of wet pebbles. The water from the pebbles will evaporate naturally, causing a humid condition. One such holiday plant that not just prefers, but requires a very high humidity is the frosty fern. Bring out that tray of pebbles yet again, or better yet, plant this one in a terrarium to keep the moisture intact even when the room is dry. Water them frequently, but do not allow the roots to sit in standing water. Forcing any of these plants to rebloom could be a video all in itself. As the instructions vary from plant to plant, please see the links in the description for further information. For one example, both the Christmas cactus and poinsettia require several weeks of darkness to force a rebloom, whereas a cyclamen may go completely dormant and may very much look like the plant is dying as you await new growth and blooms. To keep the plant looking tidy, you can deadhead spent blooms, pull off or cut off yellow or damaged foliage, and trim off any brown tips. The Norfolk Island Pine is one holiday plant with a bit of rules. Trimming this plant includes the removal of any dead or dying branches, usually on the bottom. Never trim the main upright branch, as removing the central leader will destroy its pyramidal shape. Many of these plants will be happy in their original pot for quite some time. Christmas cactus, for example, prefers to have its roots slightly cramped and root bound. But when the time comes and your plant is in need of a new home, be sure to use a standard well-drained potting mix in a container with drainage holes. Orchids, on the other hand, require an orchid-specific bark mix. These plants will not need any type of fertilizer over the winter months. You can begin feeding regularly as the day length increases sometime in the spring. 
a common houseplant fertilizer at the recommended rate should do. So there you have it, holiday houseplants in a nutshell. Be sure to check the description below for more know-how on all of the plants discussed, as well as a link to a more thorough care video on Christmas cactus. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our gardening experts at questions.gardeningknowhow.com and tap the subscribe button for more content from us. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.